Good everyone, you're watching Rate Your Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix if you get an error message 0x800700005 when you're installing Windows Update for your Windows 11 machine. Now, when you're trying to install Windows Update, there are chances that you might see this error message, especially when you're installing the 23H2 update for your Windows. Now, there are a couple of steps which you can go ahead and try to get this issue resolved. Now, the first step, what I would suggest you to do is, I would suggest you to um, try to free up some space on your computer. So make sure you have enough free space in your hard drive, on your default hard drive. So to do this, you will have to open Windows Explorer. So do a right click on the Start button and then click on File Explorer. Once you have the File Explorer open, go ahead and navigate uh, from the left hand side, go ahead and navigate to this PC. Once you have this PC, make sure you have enough free space. So at least about 10 gigs, 10 to 15 gigs of free space in your hard drive. So in case if you don't have enough free space, I would suggest you to go ahead and delete some of the unwanted files from the computer. One way is to go ahead and delete those files manually. Maybe if you go to downloads or if you go to documents, Delete the files which you don't need to be there on the machine. And at the same time, once it is done, you may close this window and then try to run a disk cleanup window. So to run the disk cleanup, what you can do is you can click on the search button or on the search box and go ahead and type disk cleanup. Open disk cleanup tool and uh, you would have uh, the disk cleanup tool uh, running on your machine here. Under this section, you can go ahead and choose the file which you want to delete. So by default, you would have downloadable program files, temporary internet files. In case if you want to go ahead and clear some of the additional files, you can go ahead and clear these files. And you don't have to worry about clearing this file because this will not affect anything on your machine. Once it is done, you may go ahead and click on clean up system files. And this will try to re-evaluate or calculate some of the system files which you have already chosen. And uh, it will scan up the Windows update cleanup files. So once it is done, you would have another window open on your computer screen. And now under this section, you may go ahead and click on OK. Or you can choose the files here and then click on OK. And then click on Delete Files. So what this will do is, this will try to go ahead and delete the unnecessary uh, system files which are present on the computer and it will try to make up some free space. Now, once it is done, um, what I would suggest you to do is, I would also suggest you to go ahead and check if there are, uh, if you're using any security tool or security software on your computer. So, which you can check by clicking on this arrow. Now, if you're using any security software, I would suggest you to go ahead and uh, disable that uh, software. In my case, I'm using McAfee. Now, if I want to go ahead and disable McAfee, what I can do is I can do a right click and then click on change settings here and then click on real time scanning. So I can go ahead and uncheck this option and that will go ahead and disable McAfee on the computer or else at the same time you may go ahead and click on view all settings and from here depending on the security softwares which are using you can go ahead and disable the security software on your computer for uh, for temporarily once it is done uh, you will have to go ahead and restart the computer once you restart the computer try installing the windows update and see if that fixes the problem now in spite of trying this step and if you're still facing a problem the next step what i would suggest you to do is i would suggest you to check uh, make sure you don't have any corrupt files on your windows now there are a couple of commands which you need to go ahead and try or type uh, to run this um, check now to run this command what you will have to do is you will have to open powershell on the computer to open powershell Click on the search button and go ahead and type PowerShell. As a best match, you will see Windows PowerShell. Now on the right hand side, use the option which says run as administrator. In case if you get a user access control prompt, you may go ahead and click on yes or continue on the screen. Now once you have the PowerShell window open, 
you can you need to go ahead and type the command which says sfc space forward slash scap uh, scan now i will also mention this command in the video description so in order to copy and paste you can copy the command from the video description do a right click on the uh, powershell window and then click on edit and then click on paste so that will go ahead and paste the command or you can type the command manually and hit enter once it is done it will try to run the SFC scan on the computer and um, it will see if there are any issues. Once the SFC scan is completed, the next scan, um, now I'm going to, I'm not going to run the scan on my end because um, this is for the demonstration. I'm going to walk you through it. Once the SFC scan is completed, you might want to go ahead and restart the computer. Once you restart the computer, open PowerShell again, the way how you opened it, and you will have to run the uh, another two commands. Now, the other two commands are to scan the system health and also to check the health. So to do this, you will have to copy and paste the command from the video description. Either you can do a right click or you can do a right click and click on edit and paste. So you can use either of these options. This command is to run the scan health. Once it is done, um, wait for the process to complete. And once it is completed, the next com next command, what you will have to go ahead and uh, type is to run the check health command for your windows, which I will also paste it. Once the check health is completed, uh, the DISM tool will report whether the image is healthy. If the image is healthy or repairable, the next step, what I would suggest you to do is, I would suggest you to run a restore health command. So which will also be posted in the um, video description to run the restore health copy the command from the video description and go ahead and paste this so this will this command will go ahead and restore health of your system once uh, the restore health is completed you will have to go ahead and restart the computer once you restart the computer try to check for the windows update uh, and see if the issue has been resolved now, in spite of trying all this step, and if you're still facing a problem, the next step, uh, what I would suggest you to do is, I would suggest you to go ahead and check for some of the services if they are running perfectly fine on the computer. So to do this, you will have, put, have to open the services window. So click on the search and uh, type run. Once you see the best match for the run, click on run. In the run command window, go ahead and type services.msc and then click on OK. Once you click on OK, you will have the services.msc window open on your computer. Now this will show all the services which are currently running on your machine. Now under this section, what you will have to do is you will have to go ahead and look for the Windows update services. Now this will be in the alphabetical order. So look for windows update so make sure the service is running so currently what you will have to do is you will have to do a right click and click on properties and then click on stop once it is done look for another service called background intelligent transfer services you will have to go ahead and look um, stop the services do a right click and click on stop or you can click on properties and then click on stop either which ways now once it is done you can go ahead and minimize this window and then you will have to go to a drive so to do this go to the location which says c drive windows software distribution so what you can do is you can do a right click and click on file explorer once you have the file explorer open in order to see the system files you will have to change the view Click on the ellipsis here on the see more. Click on options. In case if you don't have the hidden files and folders enabled, make sure you check the box which says show hidden files and folders under this menu. So this needs to be checked. Only then you will be able to see the files which needs to be deleted. Once you are on this window, once your hidden files and folders are enabled to display on your computer, go to this PC, go to your C drive, your local drive, under local drive, you will have to go ahead and locate for software, uh, you have to locate for Windows under C drive. Under this section, you will have to locate for software distribution. You can 
once you find this folder, you can go ahead and rename that folder or you can delete this folder completely on the computer. Basically, this folder will consist some of the components uh, for the Windows update which you have installed in the past. So deleting or renaming this folder will go ahead and restore or reset the Windows component. Once it is done, you may go ahead and close this window. Go back to the services window and enable the services which you had disabled. So one is background intelligent transfer services. So you can do a right click and click on properties and then click on start. So you will have to go ahead and start this services again. Once it is done, click on OK and then look for Windows Update. So go ahead and look for a Windows Update. And as I mentioned you earlier, it would be in alphabetical order. So do a right click, click on Properties and then click on Start again. At the same time, uh, what I would also suggest you to do is I would suggest you to go ahead and check for the Windows Installer because that's the component which will go ahead and install the Windows Update on the computer. So make sure it has been set to automatic. In my case, it has been set to manual, set to automatic. To do this, you will, and also make sure it is running. So you can do a right click and click on properties and then click on start. Once it is done, you may click on apply and then click on OK. And under the startup type from the drop down, you may go ahead and click on set to automatic. Once um, these services are enabled, the next step, what I would suggest you to do is um, parallelly you can go ahead and try to run the uh, Windows Update Troubleshooter. Uh, to do this, uh, what you will have to do is you will have to do a right click on the Start button and then click on Settings. Once you're on the Settings page, you may go ahead and click on Windows um, on the System. Under System, you will see an option which says Troubleshoot. Under Troubleshoot, you can go ahead and look for other troubleshooter, click on that. And under this section, if you have used Windows Update, you would see it under most frequent. Otherwise, you may go ahead and scroll down and look for Windows Update. Click on Run. So basically, this will also run the Windows Update troubleshooter uh, for your computer. So in case if there are any corrupt Windows Update component which are still present on the machine, it will try to go ahead and repair those component. And once it is done, you may go ahead and close this window and uh, once you close this window restart the computer once you restart the computer try to install the windows update by doing a right click and then click on settings and once you click on the settings go to windows update and try to install the updates and see if it works so from here once you see uh, windows you may go ahead and click on download and install once you download and install you should be able to install the uh, 23H2 update for your Windows 11. Now, in spite of trying all this step, and if you're still facing a problem, um, the next step, what I would suggest you to do is, I would suggest you to uh, go ahead and do a reset of your Windows. So basically what this will do is, this will try to repair your Windows component uh, from uh, Windows components. So in case if there are any bad files or corrupt files for your Windows, it will go ahead and try to repair those files without reinstalling your Windows and without uh, delete, uh, losing your data. To do this, um, what you will have to do is you will have to do a right click on the Start button, then click on Settings. Once you're on the Settings page, on the left hand side, you may go ahead and click on Windows Update to locate for Advanced Option. So once you're on Windows Update, go ahead and click on Advanced Option. Under this section, you will have to look for additional option. Under additional option, look for recovery. So click on recovery. Here, you would see an option which says reset this PC. Basically, choose to keep or remove your personal files, then reinstall your Windows. So you're doing a reinstall of your Windows without losing any data. And I want to set, um, give you a disclaimer here. When you're following this step, make sure you follow this step step by step without missing any steps there are chance in case if you choose the incorrect option there are chances that you might lose uh, the files which you have on the computer so make sure to follow the steps uh, as you see on the screen so once you click on reset pc 
the next window of what you would see on the screen is uh, to choose an option how do you want to repair your windows so this is where you have to choose the option appropriately so if you choose remove everything that will delete everything from your computer make sure you choose keep my files this will not delete any files once this is done then the next option what you would see is how would you like to reinstall your windows cloud download or local install so choose the second option which says reinstall windows from this device and then click on next once it is done um, click on next following this window you would be getting an option to confirm the reset of your pc mm -hmm. once it is done um, you may go ahead and uh, re your computer will be restarted and once the uh, reset is done you will be prompted to enter your username and password if you have one otherwise it will directly boot back to your desktop once the reset is done then you can try to go ahead and install the windows update by doing a right click on the start button and then clicking on settings then click on windows update go ahead and check for the updates and download the updates and that should fix the problem now in spite of trying all this step and if you're still facing a problem i would suggest you to leave me a command in the command section so that i can come up with a possible solution i hope this video was useful in case if you like this video please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you have a great day